And good morning. It is 22 minutes after 8 o'clock. And joining us in studio this morning from Boys and Girls Club, we have Natasha Welt back with us. Good morning. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Good, good. Yeah, it's well. been a while since we've talked to you. It's been a little I bit, know. yeah, a couple months. I think, uh, yeah, it's been, uh, but I know um, you guys are constantly, I mean, this is, we were just talking about this, uh, the world of COVID shut down a lot of, a lot of things, a lot yes. of nonprofits and put them on hiatus and things. But Boys and Girls Club, though it wasn't the normal way you do things per se, Yes. Um, you guys definitely never shut down. Uh, you were helping families, yep. you know, whether it's having to do it at a different place or adjust hours or oh, yeah. whatever, or, or, you know, even if it's remote stuff, there was still... We Boys and Girls Club mm-hmm. programming going on yes. the whole time there. Yes. So, so, uh, so parents, if you are looking for something to, uh, with your kids that's extra outside of the school experience, mm-hmm. um, which anybody that's listened to my show for any extended period of time tells you, right now is the time where you need to be putting your children in oh, as yeah. many things. Boys and Girls Club Camp Inventions coming up in June, uh, a week-long summer camp uh, for kids. Mm-hmm. Sign them up. Uh, yes. All these things Get are it. important. Yeah. Boys and Girls Club is kind of like that, but every day. Every day. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know, so these yep. are the things we're talking about here to get involved. And I'm sure you, uh, as as working with Boys and Girls Club, probably see it on a first, you know, firsthand experience about what some of these kids have been missing for oh, the yeah. last two years and, and what you almost have to either reteach or introduce for the first time. To yes. Them. Well, and like... We notice with our first and second graders, half of them don't know how to read yeah. at all. And pre-COVID, we saw the first and second graders could read. Yeah. They came in and they could do their homework. We have to assist all these kids with their homework. And I think it's because they weren't given that chance in person. Sure. To they weren't learn given the format. how to read. And, mm. and yeah, so we... We struggle, but mm-hmm. we get there. Yeah. We get there. We have probably nine first graders, seven first graders ish okay. that come in every day for power hour. And and, so. I, and my wife is a second grade teacher, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. I know exactly what you're talking about because she experienced the same thing. Yes. Normally, when she's teaching second grade, these kids have gone through kindergarten, they've gone through first grade. They kind of know the classroom, mm-hmm. how to behave, how procedures, how things oh, yeah. are done in a classroom environment. Well, for some of these kids, the first time they stepped into a classroom was in second, second grade. Second grade. And so the things like how to be quiet in here and walk in the mm-hmm. straight line and they weren't taught raising hand. Taught that. Yeah, all the things that because they were home. Exactly. Yeah. And so they don't yeah. know any better. Therefore, you have to first teach the protocol of how to be in school before you can teach them a letter mm-hmm. or math or anything yep. else. You got to say, okay, now you're in school. This is procedures in school. And they're rear for this set so we can maximize your education. Yeah. And but yeah. they don't know that. So you gotta teach they them. They don't all get that. it. Mm-hmm. And and that's why Boys and Girls Club can help because yes, that's why we're important. It creates structure. <laughs> it creates those mm-hmm. things. But at Routine. the same time, it also helps them catch up to things mm-hmm. that they may mm-hmm. have should have been exposed to a year ago, but didn't because the way life is. The way life, yeah. And 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 they're going to need these skill sets to yes. be a, to be adults. Yes. Uh, functioning adults need these skill sets to be functioning adults. Yep. And so um, they got to learn it somewhere. And I know parents, you try to teach everything, but you can't teach group interaction. Unless yeah, you you've can't got, teach the social part. Yeah. Even if you've got a family like eight is enough uh, yeah. because you're all related. Y'all, you know, it's families different. Mm-hmm. You treat family different. You need you treat... different kids and different age groups yeah. and different cultures per se yeah. and just all the different things that you would encounter outside of home people that don't see the same things as them every day yeah you know and and yeah. and, and that's how we as humanity grow yep. um because we all learn that hey just because we didn't experience it the same way doesn't mean it's right or wrong it's yeah. just you know how how you grew up that way or how i did mm-hmm. and maybe sometimes you look at it and you say i mean that's a life for all of us you know as adults you how many times you've been oh, i've been doing it this way my whole life and someone comes in and says well i do it this way and it's better you know, or easier, yeah. and you're like, oh, maybe I'm, you know, that's, that's how you find those kinds of that's, things out, yep. you know. You learn different stuff sure. from different people. And then you also expose them to to uh, to opportunities to grow and see things that yes. that maybe they wouldn't have had in under your under your care at home here and things like that. Mm-hmm. That's, that's uh, you, you can't, 
you can't, you know, if if you've got your world and your things that you've seen, uh, you only can show them that. You can't show them the other stuff. And, yes. and that's where others, group settings, working in groups, yep. kids doing group activities on their own where they create, plan, and oh, yeah. and, and, and execute. Um, that's mm-hmm. all part of Boys and Girls Club. It's teaching that leadership. It's teaching responsibility. Oh, yeah. It's teaching working with, in a group. On top of, uh, you know, you're learning math, learning, right, mm-hmm. whatever the homework is they're doing, you know, that, yep. that stuff. But it's teaching. That's the part that's so important is that the part that makes the problem solving skills, the things yeah. that make a well-rounded child into a well-rounded adult. Mm-hmm. It's 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 things like Boys and Girls Club oh, that, yeah. that, ex- that being exposed to that allows that to happen. Yep. Just on Monday, uh, they did a they did maps on Monday. It was National Roadmap Day. Okay. And so they had to make a map. They had to go hide a ball. X marks the spot. Gotcha. And somebody had to follow their map to gotcha. go out and find their ball. Okay. And they were in little groups of two or three. And you have to work together. And you don't, some of the kids, they kind of had a hard time gotcha. working together just because they don't, they don't know how. Sure. So it, it is a group setting and that routine is yeah. what's going to get them. And, and, they, and the only way they learn it is by doing it. Yep. Uh, you know, how yes. do personalities, you, you almost have to let the personalities clash to understand oh, yeah. how to work together. You know yes. what I mean? They got to have a disagreement before mm-hmm. you figure out a way to fix the agreement. And we try know? to we try to place the kids sometimes in off settings to where mm-hmm. they're not used to that person that sure. they're grouped with. People that they're not familiar, yeah. comfortable with necessarily. Yeah, they might not yeah. go to school with that kid mm-hmm. or they might not be in the same grade as that sure. kid. And so it's a Breaking little different. Breaking up clicks and things oh, like yeah. that to kind of start oh, yeah. up. We've yeah. got them there too. <laughs> so we've got to break them up. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're the adults learning. We did it when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I did it back then. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You realize that that's, you, you realize when you hit your 30s, you're like, pretty much. 30s are high school, but I don't have seven classes. It's just too many. Yeah. That. yeah. <laughs> That's when you realize, like, yeah, it's just yeah. high school. It's, it's just like 13th grade, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> same clicks, same, yep. little, same little arguments. But, <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, yep. but they, it is really amazing to do that. And, and, then, and of course, too, it also exposes the kids to, to things that maybe you wouldn't get to do at home. Maybe yes. there's activities. How many skills. kids read a roadmap now? Yeah. You Google it. You Google map it. Yeah. And you put it on your phone and you go on your way. Yeah. Like, I, I saw just a post on Facebook yesterday that they were going on a trip and the daughter didn't know how to read a roadmap. Yeah. Had no idea. And I was like, man. Yeah, they got a phone that tells them, turn left yep. here, turn right here. And, and I mean, like, I'm guilty. I use my phone for roadmaps and everything. We're well, sure, we all take do. a trip it's, this month. And it's convenient. that's how I'll do it. I'm not going to go buy a regular map. Well, you're also taking but... a car. You're not taking a horse. It's technology. It's, it's yeah. better. You know yep. what I mean? But at yep. the same time, there might be a time where there's no power, no service. And you need that And all you map. got is that atlas sitting in yes. the glove box the in the, in the glove box there. You need to know how to read it. You got to know how to look at it. Yep. Know how to orient yourself on it and how to yep. follow it. What and, happens when you hit no service yeah. and your roadmap goes away and you have a turn or something yeah. and your phone doesn't go off? I remember when I was, so. I was like 19 or so, 20 maybe. Mm-hmm. And... Um, my, uh, I was, uh, my, a friend of mine was stationed. I was, this, I lived in Maryland at the time. Okay. But a friend of mine, uh, he was in the military and he was stationed, uh, at Shepherd Air Force Base in Texas. He, he's doing his training. Well, I was like 20 at the time. And I said, okay. I, I did a road trip to visit him. I was, so I went from Maryland to, uh, Wichita Falls, Texas. That's cool. Yeah. As a 20 year old buyer, that's a kind of a big deal. In a yeah. Car, you that's know? a big deal. But this was also before cell phones, uh, before okay. all of that. So I literally had the, uh, had the Rand McNally, the Rand McNally road at yes. it, and I platted my way beforehand and I just stuck to it. And it was my first, uh, real experience on my own mm-hmm. as an adult navigating, getting from point A to point B by yourself. And, and it was a big to do, cool. but you know, had I not, you know, learned as a child to, to read to maps read and map. things, uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't have been able to pull that off, you yep. know? And, and that's, uh, you know, and so I know you look at today and take it, but that was a big deal when I'm a 20 year old kid, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh yeah. And, uh, but that's the moments your children need. Mm-hmm. They need, uh, I mean, obviously at 20 going on, but, but you learning the stuff to get to that. Now point. to learning, get there. Yeah, yes. Exactly. That's, yes. that's what, that's what, what happens if cell phones go away. Sure. 
I'm, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just saying, what happens if cell phones go away? Yeah. Then what? How are these kids going to learn you, you, different things? You do live in the in so, New Mexico in mm-hmm. some very remote area. You go 10 miles, 10 miles outside of town, you lose your cell phone yeah. anyway yeah. sometimes. So, yeah. you know, that, that's, that's a and real you don't, thing. You've got shoddy service between here and Reno, yeah. so the whole time. Yeah, your phone can't bail you so, out for everything. You yeah. got you to gotta have yep. some skills. You know, yep. what happens when your tire blows? You going to change that thing or are you mm-hmm. going to... Call an app. It doesn't always work. It doesn't that work way. that way. Yeah, it doesn't. Yep. But that's but that's the kind of problem solving skills that Boys and Girls Club teaches. Yes, you know, that's it's, exactly what we're there for. You know, these group Life activities, skills. creating these maps, creating uh, in essence challenges for these kids mm-hmm. to overcome. And and the and I know we've talked in the past about what the beauty is. It, it's all age appropriate. Your younger kids are working together, doing yes. younger kid things. Yes. But the older kids, your middle school and even some of your high school that that age kids. Mm-hmm. Um, they get to be as part of the program, but as leaders per se, yeah. where they're, um, they, they, you know, they're in a structured program, but they also kind of steer the direction of the program. Yes. If these are kids that say, Hey, we want to do a, a cooking thing. Then they plan, organize and, and create that cooking thing. Mm-hmm. Um, as long as it's, you know, the, the, the adults in the room make sure everything oh, yeah. happens, but, yeah. but, but you give the freedom to the older kids to, to, to problem solve them, you know, for themselves yep. and okay. Here's what you I want you to do. How are you gonna make that happen? And they yeah. they, they go make they it happen. It. Yeah. yeah. That's yep. and, and so, you know, and at, at all again, all age appropriate. As you get older, you get more mature, there's more mm-hmm. responsibilities. And oh, that's yeah. what they're teaching these kids. And and trust me, those are gonna be the skill sets that that when their uh, adults have in their own families, they're gonna come back and and resource on and be like, Oh, oh yeah. I learned that back then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's yep. so for parents that kind of think maybe boys and girls come, I don't need it. I, you know, they come home, they can be by themselves mm-hmm. for a couple hours, do their homework, play video games, whatever they do, and then till till parents come home. Yeah, um, that might be good sometimes, but but I would uh, I'd like to say please don't make that a full time thing. That's where yes. boys and girls club comes in because, um, and I and even if your kid's pretty, you know, g- work in group settings has a lot mm-hmm. of experience. The more the merry on that because, oh, yeah. and in essence, your child will become a leader on those yep. because uh, leaders kind of evolve out of things. And if you have a child that maybe plays sports and does a bunch of uh, extracurricular activities, they come to Boys and Girls Club, they're going to be exposed to children that may haven't. Yes. And by default, will kind of almost yep. exude at being a leader. So guess what? Your child is now going to learn to be part of the program to now executing and leading mm-hmm. and running a program. Yeah, we have some of our first and second grade boys that are really good basketball players, yeah. and they teach the other ones that might not know how to shoot that basket. They teach them, hey, no, it goes like this, and they show them, and yeah. it's really cool to see yeah. first and second graders out there helping their peers. It's like they, they, they become so, the mentor a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's neat. It's the circle life. <laughs> yep, yep, it's pretty cool. Now, um, we got some events coming up. We want to yes. invite folks to come. And if you're thinking, you know, you're right. Uh, my Maybe this is something my, my child would benefit from mm-hmm. as being a part of a Boys and Girls Club. Good news is you guys are going to be having a, an open house here in yes. uh, in a couple weeks on April 23rd. Yep. And so uh, if you haven't had a chance to see the uh, the Boys and Girls Club's facility here for, and I'd say it's Chavez in Lincoln County. I always say of Roswell. <laughs> That's, we all think of it, but their yeah. official Umbrella covers Chavez, Chavez and Lincoln, and Lincoln County, counties, but, and then we're the Roswell Garden Unit. Yeah, the Roswell Unit so, there. Yep. But um, especially if you haven't been since the renovation remodel yes. and all that, it's a beautiful facility. Yes. They, the city uh, did a lot of great work to that that facility, and uh, and now um now you now you guys where before you guys uh, before COVID you had the programs of people, but the facility, the facility needed help. Was shot. Now and, the facility's yeah. great, but but you got to bring the people, people. back. Yep. Bring the people back here. We need, so, the, we need the kids back in. So come on so. out to the open house. It's going to be April twenty third from eleven to two. That's a Saturday. Yes, it is. And we have all kinds of stuff going on that day. Um, Excel is going to be out there cooking hot dogs. Okay. Um, and those are going to be free. Free dogs for um, the kids and everybody coming. Free out. ice cream cones. Nice. Um, once you go through, she the should whole started tour. with that. I mean, I like hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but ice but cream, ice cream, cream would have been, uh, that's, yeah. that's kind of the So big Dunkin' deal. Donuts donated over some cones and <laughs> nice. some ice cream some for Baskin us. Some Baskin-Robbins so, ice cream, yeah. sweet. Um, and then we've got uh, Stellar Satellite. They're going to be out coffee. there with their coffee truck. Nice. Um, and then the Arctic Bunker is going to be out there doing up shaved ice. Nice. So we've got those two trucks that will so be there. So hunger should not be an issue. Nope, you Plenty will have treats. you covered. 
Um, and then the Guerreros are going to be out there with their motorcycles. Oh, cool. So um, they're just coming out? out, parking their motorcycles and hanging out with come us. Come check out the, the bikes yeah. and, look and, uh, and so, talk to them. And they do a lot of great stuff. They do a community. lot of stuff yeah. for the kids. So yeah, they, they were really excited big, to do this. They're kids at heart, I think, uh, yeah, a lot of those I think guys. So. <laughs> I think so. And then you'll just come in and you'll tour the club. Um, you'll get to see our new gym and the floor that's in there and the facilities that we oh. offer in there for the kids. Um, you'll go back and you'll see our learning center. Um, there'll be a STEM activity in there that everybody can cool. look at and kind of, kind of, kind of see of an what we do. Of yeah, what, this what, is kind of what we do. What our programs are like mm-hmm. at, at Boys and Girls yeah. Club. Um, and then in the game room, um, I'm not for sure if we're going to have some sort of board game going on or just let you shoot some pool or gotcha. something while you're in there. And something then the art room g- will have some sort of project in there, cool. too. So you kind of get like, so, a, you know, kind of take a test just drive. Just a little and feel of kind of what the of club is yeah. and what we do every day and... Yeah, that kind of stuff. Excellent. So yeah, and, it'll um, be good. Probably something I should have done at the beginning. It didn't. Um, let's go over the the requirements. Like, what's what's the age groups? What's the okay. the, the for, um, for what so in order to attend the club, you have to be in first grade. Okay. Um, the kinders are just too small. Still. Gotcha. So first grade is our requirement. Okay. Um, this first on summer, up through twelfth, I guess. Um, or? We don't have any high schoolers right now. Okay. Um, we do have a few middle schoolers, okay. and I'm not opposed to taking the high schoolers. Sure. Um, we just, they don't come. They might so, turn more as counselor, CIT type individuals yeah. right now. And if you got more, but bring some friends. Bring some start. friends. Yeah. So drop the gauntlet. High school kids. Yes. If you're looking for some place, something to do and something yes. to do, gather your friends. Boys come and girls on down. Club would love to mm-hmm. invite you to come down to the open house on the 23rd yeah. and talk. With them and say, hey, we've got, we've got, going on we got a bunch of summer. 16-year-olds mm-hmm. here that we want to we want a place for after school to do something. Yep. What can we do? And uh, I think that would be pretty cool to yeah. have a team. We don't have a teen program, and I would love a teen program. Good. I would love it. It's all about so, supply and demand. If there's enough yes. kids that are interested, you guys yep. will make it happen. So, that we will. But you got to show we the will. interest. We've, yeah, we've got to, you've got to come. And so first through eighth grade is okay. what we offer right now. Um we break the groups up okay. to where they're not all together. So we've got first through fourth grade together and then fifth and up together. Gotcha. So we break the groups up pretty good. Um, after school right now, we do have memberships still open. Okay. Um, it's a $40 fee for the membership. Okay. And then if you want to get your kids bust there with our vans, then that's $20. Excellent. Okay. So we do offer scholarships. Okay. Um, so if you do need financial aid, oh yeah. let them we know and, them. and they'll work with you on that. Yeah. We, we don't do. want many to be the problem that nope. the kids don't get. The not at all. Money's not an issue. Yeah. So we can, we can work with you. But at the same time, if you are available to afford it, please, because that yes. stuff helps with the program. Yes, and helps for it. sure. Uh, uh, Boys and Girls Club isn't, you know, they don't have the Scrooge McDuck vault that they can swim through that all that money goes for the yep. programs, for that facility. Uh, it goes, back into the kids oh yeah it does for sure (laughs) so we've got that that's offered um we do offer them snack um after school so if you're looking for after school for right now up Mm -hmm. until the end of the school year come by good place to start yes we we offer after school care um we help them with their homework we give them a snack and that's the thing. You, so, for, you know that your child, when they get to the thing, that's going to be the first thing to before yes. we play games and everything. Yep. We'll have our snack and work on our homework. And work on our homework. <laughs> yeah, we we rarely send kids home not getting their homework done. Gotcha. Um, yesterday, one kid just didn't finish reading before gotcha. mom and dad got there. But otherwise, all the homework gets finished. Yeah, just got to finish up they, a couple chapter mm-hmm. there and yep. do the thing. It's, so you know. it's it's. It's pretty, and that's the great thing too is your staff and others help. So it's if they're getting, you know, if they need help struggling with the homework, there's there's staff there, right there to help them navigate through those. There's myself and my programs girl. Um, Both of us are on hand for Power Hour at any given day. I guess it forced y'all to get up on your game and uh, some of your school. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Do I remember fractions? <laughs> you know, it's fractions and decimals that get me every time. And I'm sure every one of your questions are decimal or fraction Lately, related. it's been shapes. <laughs> Naming the shapes like, and uh, what's an circle. area yeah. and a perimeter. And I'm just like, oh, man, I have to look all this up again. <laughs> because you just forget over sure. time. You're out of practice. Yep. Absolutely. Unless you do it every day, you get out yep. of practice. So it's you just... got to look it up. And oh, yeah. Yeah. And then you help them out with that. Trust us, we so. did learn it once. We just we had a lot of time to forget things. Forget things. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. And you definitely do forget things. I always make so. a joke every once in a while because as a radio guy, I'd say, Yeah, I know everything. 
I just can't remember it all at once. You know, that's yep. the thing. Yeah, I know yep. it all. I just can't remember it all at once. But, so. uh, but yeah, it, it, it's a great opportunity. Come come check out the open house. Yes, Again, for that's, sure. That's probably. For sure. um, now, you don't have to wait till April 23rd. If you're hearing no. this, I'm like, no. Call, call today. Call yes. or come call down. Call come down. Yeah. We're there. Um, front desk, our front desk lady, Helen, she yeah. knows the ins and outs of the club. Yeah. Um, she can tell you all about it, give you a membership application. Um, today we'll be open 11 to 6. Okay. And otherwise we're open 10 to 6. Very good. Um, somebody's usually there 10 to 6, Monday through Friday. Very good. So. And, of course, um, you can always, uh, the location's on Garden there, 201 South Garden. Um, what uh, is there a phone number over there if people have questions? Yes, they can call? it's 575 550 5001. Very good. And of course, um, you could, I, I think you guys have a, a Facebook as well. We too. sure do. It's uh, Boys and Girls Clubs of Chavez and Lincoln County. Yeah, just do it. And that way you can uh, like so, and follow. You can stay up to date yep. whenever there's events. We do all kinds of stuff. Just yesterday, we had Amy Steen with I Can come in and okay. helped us plant seeds for our garden. Cool. So we got our garden. Um, we've got the little pods it going with season. our seeds. Yeah. And then here in the next month, we'll uproot them and plant them over into our garden that cool. we got. So the city came out and wrote and tilled up all of our stuff and oh, so nice. we can plant our stuff in. That's cool. So the kids so, will be... Uh, yeah, the kids will be on hand for are that. Are they doing flour, yeah. vegetable, Oh, both, it's vegetables. Or? Vegetables and watermelon. Nice. So yep. maybe they'll have a snack or two. Uh, yeah. To, uh, this yeah. summer, we're real excited for the harvest this cool. summer. Cool. Turn to a cooking class after yeah, that. It'll it's like, be really all right, neat. let's make some... Uh, Carrots and cucumbers. Yeah. We're talking about pickling the cucumbers. Nice. And, just doing some different stuff. Yeah. Uh, Vicki Burris is going to come in and help us with canning. Okay. We've got a week during the summer that's called the Game of Life, and it's okay. all life skills. Great. And so she's going to come in that week and do some canning stuff. And and uh, it's those are great skills that are going to last your whole life. Oh, I yeah. mean, I kind of, oh, yeah. you know, uh, we, we especially when we live in a world where everyone thinks your food comes from DoorDash. You know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. Or, you know, it's, <laughs> it's uh, I, I was... Um, I was joking with someone just the other day. I said, you know what? I need to get buddies with an Amish person because they talk about like preserving food yes. and all the skill sets that they have. Like they do meats, they do everything. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and I also know Amish cooking is usually pretty good. I'm like, they preserve everything, but those people eat pretty but they good. they eat good. So I'm yeah. kind of like, maybe I should take a note from what they're doing over there. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of it's kind of what you're teaching with the canning and, oh, and yeah. the preserving and oh, yeah. uh, all that stuff. So that's that's where you learn all that yep. stuff. And um, I'm telling you, when you get that skill down, those are the kind of things you can take care of yourself the rest of your life. You oh, know, yeah. like you, and you get the confidence. And you get it. Next thing you know, it's like, I don't care how bad the world is. I know I can feed myself. I, I, I can, can take do care this. Of yep. I'll, I, I, I learned to, this yeah. back when I went to the Boys and Girls yeah. Club for the summer. I can get summer. from point A to point B. Yeah. I can prepare a meal. Yep. I can take. Uh, I can make a... Uh, I can make lemons and make lemonade because yeah. I learned those and skills. And see, and that's, that's what we're about. We're not about just coming in after school and playing a bunch of games yeah. and, you know, just hanging out. We, the kids actually learn life skills. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's it, pretty cool to watch them. It, it, and that aha moment that they get in their head, like, oh, yeah, that's how. Yeah. It's, so. it's, 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 it's kind of, I, I always feel like programs like this, it, from a kid's perspective, it's almost like the backstage pass to the concert. You like mm-hmm. like you go to school and you turn everything but but the real cool stuff is backstage. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Uh, and I feel like that's where programs like this are that because yeah, it's like you can't like make a chalk list and say this they're going to learn this this and this. You know, you can't mm-hmm. say that. But at the same time you're like they're going to be exposed to this and they're going to pick up so many things and mm-hmm. next thing you know they're going to learn to be an adult by doing things by like doing this. By doing these things. And that's what yeah. it is. And and yep. I know school's important and we learn but at the end of the day, they're, they're teaching facts, figures, numbers, concepts, yes. how to do things. It's not necessarily how to be an adult. It's how to do math, how to do, mm-hmm. you know, understand reading, writing, and, and which you're, you got to have and survive. You have, yeah, you have to have all these but, things. But when you're out in so. the street talking with someone or interacting with someone or trying to navigate someone. Yes. Those skills don't always help you, and that's where what happens at Boys and Girls Club will help your we'll child. Help you out. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, let's talk also about uh, summer day camp. Oh uh, yeah, and, so and, that's coming up. Um, we'll start that the day after Memorial Day. Okay. And that'll run all the way up until school starts in August. Okay. And this is like your summer um, program. It's a for summer the kids. program. Yeah, we run at five uh, seven thirty to five thirty okay. Monday through Friday. We feed them lunch and a snack, and that's included in the program. Feed. Okay. Um, the program fee is fifty dollars for the week. Okay, um, that's so pretty, it's about a dollar an hour. That's very affordable. We, yeah, it's kind of how I'm, we break it. Down. I guarantee, if you were going to pay for, say, childcare, for, depending yes. on your younger kids, you know, age group, you probably pay 
three, four times that uh, normally. So. Normally and during the week, yeah. So. We had a mom yesterday call and say that she pays almost a hundred dollars a day Oof. for childcare for her Man. children, and she was like fifty dollars a week per kid. <laughs> I can handle that. <laughs> She's like, I can handle that, and we're going to get steak right yeah. now because I'm saving yeah. some money. <laughs> so it, you think about it, yeah. and it is it is very affordable. Absolutely. Um, we have scholarships offered for that sure, as well. Sure, if that's if, if that's, the fifty is that's still an issue, too steep. Again, we do have scholarships that don't are want to available. deny a kid an opportunity. Yeah. If there's if and there's a will, there's the, going to be a the way. The application for that's real easy. Um, you just bring in that and the information that it requires, gotcha. and we send it off to our scholarship board. Very good. So, but again, now your kid has a fun, structured environment. Yep. You, you don't have to be at work on my kids at home. Is he blowing? The, is he or she blowing the What's house up? <laughs> it's like, yeah. do I still have it upstairs? I mean, you don't, you yeah. don't have to worry about that. Yep, because uh, they're at the club and yeah. they're learning cool things, yeah. and you don't have to worry about them being safe. And we're going to take all kinds of field trips this summer. Um, we've got different ones planned for the library, the pool. Cool. Um, we're going to go watch some movies. Nice. Um, just some diff- so different stuff. So they get out stuff. and, and mm-hmm. see the community and, we've got and do things. Cool people coming into the club this summer, too. Doing to their doing demonstrations, their things, sharing yeah. their. Rita's coming in, Rita Doharfer. Uh-huh. Um, we've got her coming in. We've got Vicki Burris coming in. Okay. Um, Nimi baseball will come in and do oh. some stuff. Hopefully the invaders will be nice. able to come out. Have some fun. Yeah. Meet so and we've got and... some cool things that are going to happen inside and outside of the club. This Very summer. cool. So your Excellent. kids don't want to miss it. And, and, and again, this is kind of, these are structured programs, things you do, but at the same time, a lot of the stuff you do, it goes with the flow of the community. Yes. So if you got a bunch of kids and they all want to do X, then you say, you know what? Let's uh, let's put the resources together let's so do that. they can yeah. do X. Yep. And so that's yep. um, uh, as long as it meets the parameters of what we want to do in Boys and Girls Club. You know, yeah. it meets with X. There, you know, but that's what it is. We're again, yep. we're making adults. Part of that is the evolutionary process from going, you know, learning and developing. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's what Boys and Girls Club is all about. Yep. And that's uh, at the end of the day. And, and 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 here's the beauty of it. It's for every single child. Yep. I don't care if you're the richest family on the planet or the poorest family yep. on the planet. I don't We've care. We've got a spot. I don't care if you come from a single home, uh, six parents. I don't care. Yep. It, it, none of that matters. As long yep. as you have a child that is a human being that wants to, uh, that's mm-hmm. growing to an adult, big brothers, big sisters is, yeah. is going to benefit that child. Yeah. That's so. what it's about. It's not yep. about, it's, 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 it's about making children better children to become better adults better and adult. teaching them yep. and, and, and making, making good little human beings. That's all we're that's about. That's what we're here for. And you always hear, you, you hear the sayings, takes a village and things. This is the part of what it Here's takes what the village a village to village is. Yeah, it's not literally yeah. your neighbors watching your kids and making yeah. sure they're not breaking the street lights. We have the village for yeah. you. The village is you you've yep. got you've got to allow others besides your family to teach and enrich your child. Yep. It's the only way your child's going to succeed. It's uh I can agree. Yeah. It, it's just uh, it'd be great if we lived in a world where you sat in a box the whole life and didn't interact or deal with anybody, then maybe your way would work, but that's not how life works. <laughs> that's not how it goes. <laughs> not yet, at least. I don't know, in yeah. 20 years, we're all going to be in little boxes, but, yeah. but right now, it's not. <laughs> it's not how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but once again, mark it on your calendar, Saturday, April 23rd, from 11 to 2. It's going to be uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Chavez and Lincoln County's open house event. Mm-hmm. It's going to be at the facility here in Roswell, 201 South Garden. Uh, come out for free food that includes ice cream, hot dogs, um, and more uh, food trucks, uh, food out, trucks there there. out there are yep. going to be out there doing a uh, stellar coffee. Uh, the Guerreros are going to be out there mm-hmm. interacting with the kids and probably yep. letting them uh, wear the, the cool jackets and all that yeah. cool stuff. Um, they're going to have uh, the Arctic Bunker Shave Ice. So yep. whether you want hot food, cold food, dessert, whatever, they got everybody covered. Got it. And uh, and it's a come and go. So anytime yeah. between 11 and 2, if you can't yeah. make it to 11, 30, 12, That's no fine. problem. We'll be out there all yeah. day. Yeah, and um, for those three and then uh, learn more about summer registration. You can yes. do that at the time, or if you want to sign up for the after school program. Yeah, because yeah, we're still running the after school program till the end of May. Yeah, that'll go so, till May, and then once that's over, we roll into the summer, summer program yep. here. Um, yep. Big thank you to Excel Energy. Uh, oh like yeah, said, for they're, sure. They, they're such a great, a great partner with us. They yeah. sponsor us for so many things. They're an go- so. organization that uh, a lot of times you see. Great events or great pub mm-hmm. community events. A lot of times, Excel Energy's name is attached to it. Yeah, it's just yeah, they're good people. They're very much uh, a part of the fabric of this community. Yep, here. that so, they are. 
Um, is there anybody else we want to thank uh, that helped out? I know, obviously, Guerrero is all those folks. Um, but, just uh, the people who were listed, yeah. Okay. And then all of us staff will be out there on hand for you. Yeah. Um, as far as staffing goes, how are you guys doing? Tonight? We're Could doing you... okay. Okay, um, I didn't know if you guys for needed... For summer, we're going to need a couple people. Okay, I didn't know if you need to do some hiring but, yourselves. Or... Yeah, for summer, we'll need a couple people. But other okay. than that, right at this current moment, okay. we're fully staffed. So I'm guessing those summer, so. uh, those are probably good for like college-age kids, maybe, oh, yeah. that are looking for like social work or mm-hmm. humanity. You no, know, that, that they're maybe studying that kind yep, of stuff in college, that'd be good. social work, or just working with kids. We'd things love like that. and you know just getting teachers some maybe fresh, yeah some fresh some, bodies some, in there. Some uh, teacher students maybe that are in there that might be a good opportunity yep. for a summer job there for you. But um, uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll get 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 Natasha back on when we get a little closer. Yeah, reach for sure. out and talk for sure. about that. I'll come back next month. Of course, we'll... come out to the open house on the twenty third yes. if you have questions. They'd be happy to yes, give we'll you that answer. information too. Yep. Anything that you need. Yeah, excellent. Is there anything we missed? Do we get it no, all? No, we got it all. Awesome. Well, thank we you. We got to get you back you. in more often here. Yes, and, uh, we'll all come back next yeah, month. Yeah, it's been a while, and we get uh, so we can get here and get these kids, and hopefully yep. we get a point where you're like, um, I have too many. Yeah, my my gym's <laughs> too small now. I need a bigger gym. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so cool to that'd have a, a good, waiting list. That'd be a good problem to have. But yeah. uh, but in the meantime, parents, if you're looking for an opportunity to get your children exposed to to more group activities, more yes. settings, more opportunities to do problem solving to, or, or if you need help after school, my kid, I, I don't trust him at home. I need mm-hmm. help. I can't, I don't have time to do then. Bring them, bring them. Yeah. Make sure they get their homework get done. Make sure they're fed, make sure yeah. um, they're, they're taken care of. So when, when, when you get home from work, you can go home and focus on being a family. Um, yeah. You don't yeah. have to mess with the homework and all yeah. the things. Cause they already did it. Yeah. You might want to quiz so. them, keep make sure they're on their toes. But yeah, yeah other than that, yeah, you yep. know, you really, uh, it could be an asset there for your family. So. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you here next time, yes, okay? Yes, sounds good. Don't work too hard. I'll try not to. All right. <laughs> it Bunch is, uh, eight, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sure you're heading right over to Bunch the, of kids. Uh, yeah, head right over. Well, I imagine for some days you get, because you get to probably the extremes where it's like you all the kids and that energy rubs off on you. But then at the end of the day, sometimes, all that energy you get home is like, oh, oh. You're exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, I just want to stare at a wall yeah, and not. Yeah, you are exhausted. Yeah, I imagine. But, but like, they feed you and drain you at the same time. At the time. same time. <laughs> yep. Yep. They're great. They're great. That's great. Well, thank you, and we'll, yes. we'll see you next okay. time. Okay.